What is going on, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? Hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by, investing a few minutes of your day with me. And today, we are going to talk about the battle machine and timing the battle machine's ability. Now, I see a lot of players making huge mistakes in using their battle machine and its ability that you've unlocked. It is so valuable. It can definitely swing the battle between a win and a loss if you use it correctly and cost you if you don't use it correctly. So we're going to take a little bit of a closer look. We're watching a standard ground-based battle right here where I drop the battle machine in after the cannons are down as the barbs are moving in. There he is, and I hit the ability immediately. Now that ability, if we watch a live attack, which we will do in a little bit, is about 14 seconds between recharge times and you're going to get those three big electrified strikes also of course you get the regeneration of hit points right here the battle machine can't get the job done on the builder hall but my heroic cannon is eventually going to get there and one shot the builder hall so in a standard attack like this it makes sense as soon as you drop your battle machine to hit that ability but there are times where it does not make sense to use the ability right away. So we watched the wrap up of this attack, pretty solid 64% two star. Thanks so much to that one cannon right there. Cannon cart doing a great job grabbing the second star and a bunch of percentage points. So we'll move on to another battle. And as we do, let's talk again about the battle machines timing, 14 second recharge in a battle like that, that we just saw, it's okay. Hit the ability right away. There are other times though when you might want to wait on using that ability. One of those times is when the battle machine is just about to strike a structure that is extremely low in hit points. If the battle machine would have taken that building out without that electrified hammer charge, then sometimes it makes more sense to hold on to the recharge until that building goes down and he moves on to a bigger, fresher building and gets those three full strikes on it. So it really depends also upon how much damage he's taking, how badly damaged your battle machine is. In this instance right here, we will go ahead and freeze the frame. As you see, the charge is just about to come back up. He's working on the multi-mortar, and as we zoom in, it's hard to tell, but the multi-mortar is just about to go down, and luckily for me, the other units around will take the multi-mortar down, and that is going to leave those three charges of the battle machine to go hit the air bombs instead. You don't want to waste a big smack from that hammer on a structure that is just about to go down unless, again, the health of your battle machine is absolutely critical or it's taking massive damage from units, from defenses around it, then you might want to consider it. So there are times that it makes sense to hold off just for an extra second or two before you use the battle machine's ability. All right, we've got a live attack right here and I'm going to intentionally misuse the battle machine's ability and I'll show you what goes wrong if you use it too early. You'll see a lot of players that will drop a battle machine way to the outside of a base and use that charge right away. And that does work out in some cases, but if you are too far away from the structures that the battle machine is targeting, you will actually lose those charges and again, it's 14 seconds between charges. So see the camp on the far left-hand side? That is where we're going to drop our battle machine. And I'll show you what we're talking about. So we've got a minion at the top, taking out that top camp. We're going to work our way through here with drop minion and get as many structures down as we can. Hopefully getting the builder hall and the giant cannon. Those are key right here. Looks good. Last of the drop ships goes down. Builder hall goes down. All right, so we're good. We've got a two-star attack. So here we go. Misusing a battle machine's ability on the left hand side. We'll clear out a few more structures once the minions are down We'll go ahead and drop in the battle machine now We won't use his ability to take out the camp that wouldn't make sense. It's out there It's not suffering any damage. So here's another time don't use the ability, but as soon as the camp goes down We'll use it. Okay. Here's the ability and now we've got 14 seconds Here's the problem you guys if that 14 seconds expires before he uses all three charges, you lose the charges. So here he comes, time expires, and look at that. He only used one strike. We used the ability and he only got one charge strike out of it. 
would have made much more sense to wait a few more seconds and get all three charges out of the battle machine. Sometimes that is difficult to approximate, but again, it's 14 seconds. With practice, you can get used to how far away you need to drop the battle machine and hit the ability in order to get maximum effectiveness out of those charges. All right, we've got one other example of a time where you don't want to use your battle machine's ability right away. And it is up against Dark Fury from Locked and Loaded. Again, we're using dropships and minions. And yes, Dark Fury's base is 100% maxed out. So he's got those super powerful maxed out walls. And this does become an issue when you're talking about delaying your battle machine's ability. The battle machine is going to take forever to get through a maxed out wall. So if he is seeing a lot of damage from the other side from defenses, then it might make sense to try to get through the wall more quickly. But in this instance, you'll notice that I've cleared everything out all the way to the Builder Hall. The giant cannon is down as well. We've got the battle machine left and a Builder Hall that's just about to fall. So we drop in the battle machine very carefully. And yes, he goes for the wall. Now we're not going to use the ability here. It's kind of a toss up. If I had used the ability on a maxed out wall, it's still going to take him about 14 seconds to get through that wall. If this were a lower level wall, then we definitely don't want to use the ability in this instance because he's going to get through it faster. And then you see, you won't have that ability ready again. He'll be on his way walking in. Instead, we use the ability as soon as he gets through the wall. Now we know he's got three great charges, one shot in the Builder Hall, moving forward with two more charges. And we're going to get another charge off before he falls right here. And that means another building. The roaster is going to go as well. That gets us up to 61%. And against Dark Fury, one building can make all the difference in the world. We just barely eke out the win right here because we timed the Battle Machine's ability correctly. So there you guys have it. Thank you as always for watching. Please let me know if this helped you out. If you have other tips and tricks you would like me to share in future episodes, I'm happy to use your footage and give you a shout out. As always, you guys are the hashtag Galafam. You're the reason I'm here. I love Clash of Clans. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and more importantly, have a great rest of your day and come back again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. You are a tip or a trick, do you? I've got a most important one for you. The best tip ever.